today we're looking at my top 8 travel essentials. I've been very fortunate over the past couple of years to travel quite a bit for work and I've established a few things that I just can't live without. Let's get into it. Where do we start? Let's kick it off with the AirPods. You know what it is. You know what AirPods are. These bad boys have been keeping me going for the past two years. They, they're a bit dirty. They're a bit old. They, they're getting a bit rusty. I just, I don't have the cash flow to replace them at the moment. There's quite a bit of earwax stuck in the little speaker there. So the music struggles to get through every now and then and then I'll just I'll just sing myself a song, but they look cool. You know, you always got to be repping. You always got to keep them connected and just look, look cool. If my financial situation changes in the next couple of months, I might upgrade to the pros. We'll see how it goes, but they're still doing their job. You know, there's no need to replace them. I use them every day when I go to the gym, when I'm at the airport, when I don't want to speak to people. It's more than just a fashion accessory. It's a, it's a way to just distance yourself from the outside world. You know, gotta love him. Mwah. This next one might appeal a bit more to the ladies out there, but this one is addressed to the men, okay? You don't wanna be 35 and look like a crocodile with this dry, crusty skin, okay? You better, skincare is self-care. You need to look after yourself, look after your skin. You wanna be sexy when you turn 60, that's the thing. I've been heavy on my morning and evening skincare routine. I use products by Eucerin, I think that's the way you pronounce it. This is not an ad. By the way, I spent about six months trying to find the right products for my skin. This is it for me. Use a bit of cleansing milk in the morning, you know, just get all of that dirty stuff, all that old skin off your face. And then I've got a moisturizer that I apply as well. This has got SPF in and apparently it's got anti-aging effect, I, I don't know, but it's been working. Keeping my skin nice and moisturized and just, you know, looking like a baby's bottom. And that's what you want. That's what you want out of life. Moving on, right in front of me, I've got my laptop. This is just me trying to flex that I've got a MacBook and just me trying to show you that I've got a lot of money. But sometimes I use it. Sometimes when I want to look busy, maybe I'm at the airport and I feel socially awkward and I just want people to think I'm busy with big things. I'll pull out the laptop, start typing, you know, just, uh, just pretend to be doing something. Sometimes I use it to edit these videos as well it's quite handy for that but mostly just a statement piece i always carry it with me good to let people know you're about that money uh, you're about that bag and uh, that's what it is no i'm kidding i actually use this pretty much every day it's for all my video editing stuff i'm writing on this as well this is uh this is definitely one of the most important pieces of my of my essentials keeping with the technology i've always got a camera with me as well so the one i'm filming on at the moment is the one i'll probably travel with most often but this is my vlogging camera. So I'll use this when I'm traveling, when I'm trying to take you on these adventures, when I'm filming YouTube videos. But also at the moment, there's a lot of self tape auditions happening in the entertainment industry. So you never know when you need to film an audition or something. Also, uh, you never know when you want to film something uh, freaky, funny, funny. You never know when you want to catch some comedic moments. So that's what what the trusty camera is for. Just for the gear geeks out there, I'm filming this on a Sony A7S Mark II. This is a Canon 70D, it's pretty old, but it still works. Same as the AirPods, you know? Why replace it if it's not, if, it, if you don't have to replace it? That's what my father always said. Moving on. Next up, we, uh, we're moving on towards these fellas. I don't know if you know what that is. That is Durex condoms. I've got a Knights 12 pack that I always travel with because you know when I'm traveling, I'm about to smash. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I got this as a present, as a present two or three years ago, and they've expired since I haven't used any of them. So uh, it's just a joke. Mom, if you're watching this, that was just a joke. Let's get serious. Let's get back into it. I've got my glasses, my sunglasses. These are super important. I've got very sensitive eyes. So whenever the sun is quite bright, I struggle to see. And then I walk around looking like this and people think I'm an asshole, but it's just, I struggle to see. It's not because I'm trying to look sexy. It's just, I, I can't see when the sun is too bright so always keep these with me also very nice when you're like in an uber and you want to take a story for your instagram just throw these on makes you look a lot cooler than you really are but they do serve a practical purpose as well in protecting my eyes from the sun the thing is when you travel you sometimes forget you need these you leave them in your car you get to cape town you want to look sexy you want to protect your eyes but then you realize 
you forgot these. So always bring them with. Then moving on to the more serious part of the essentials. This is my journal. It says start each day with a fuck yeah. And that's what I do. I start each day with a fuck yeah. And it's just been, it's been incredible the vibes that I've been exuding since I've been doing that. This is my journal, my, my diary, my, my planner. I write everything that I need to do in a day in this. This is my gratitude journal as well. Every, every morning I try and write something in this. I try and reflect on my days. I try and express gratitude in this book. So I take this with me wherever I go. If you haven't yet, start each day with a Fuck yeah. On the topic of books, I like to read. I'm an avid reader. Most of it is usually self-help. My Instagram bio says entrepreneur and motivational. I like to read self-help stuff, but I've been getting into uh, Will Smith's autobiography. I'm almost done with it, but I always travel with a book. It's good for when you're flying, when you don't have anything to do. When I'm working in between scenes, I always sit with a book. Definitely part of the essentials. By the way, this is an amazing book. I've really enjoyed it. It's funny, it's inspiring, it's insightful, it's it's ignited a flame in me. It got me thinking that I need to start working harder and do more. So if you haven't yet, go get it. And then we're moving on to the more vain part of my essentials. This is a this is an exercise band that I use whenever I need to work out in a hotel room. You know, you don't always have the luxury of a gym. I try and take these with me as 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 much as I can. The problem is it's just it's got a yo, it's got a very distinct rubber smell. It's whew. And when you when you mix it with your clothes and you get to the other side, then everything smells like a tire shop and that's not exactly what you want, but you know, life is about sacrifice and you need to decide, do I want to look good or do I want to smell good? And some people will argue that, well, you can do both, um, but, but that's a trade-off, okay? If you're going to put this in your suitcase, everything is going to smell like, like rubber, but you best believe, but you best believe what it, what, what you lose in smell, you gain in, in, um, muscle, you gain in, it's just a good thing to have, okay, if you want to stay active. And that's me. There, obviously, there's a couple of other things that, that I always take with me. Underwear, always a good idea. You know, enough clothes. Usually, for some, for some reason, I'll pack about, let's say I'm going for five days, I'll pack about 10 pairs of underwear because I have this, I have this constant anxiety that I'm going to shit myself three times a day. So then I need to have three pairs of backup underwear. I don't know why I do that. Maybe Perhaps you do that as well. But underwear, always a good idea. Always have my charges with me and always pack in your manners, you know Don't think just because you're leaving your city you can become disrespectful and, and become a little bad boy Okay, always pack your manners and and be a good person wherever you go That's probably the most important thing I would say that you need to pack in and, and combine into your essentials Anyway guys, thank you so much for joining. This has actually been fun I'm gonna try and figure out how I can do this every week because, because I enjoyed it. If you've got any essentials that you can share, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys are packing. But thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Have a, have a good life, you know? Stay sexy, stay safe, stay safe, stay safe, stay sexy, and just stay safe, stay sexy, have a good life, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.